I'm Sean from Texas. Uh, why did I get involved with gifting? Wow, that's a that's a that's a big, really important question, actually. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, I received an automated phone call, like uh, some of you did, and you know, a lot of times I just I hang up on those. But for some reason, uh, apparently, I was looking. See, I came from a business that I had actually just sold out when I received that automated phone call like you may have actually had. Uh, your inviter may have invited you here to this little site here. But uh, I had actually just sold a business and I was looking for something to do from home. I knew we wanted to homeschool the kids, but after selling my brick and mortar businesses, I wasn't real sure how I was going to pull that off. So I received this call and I was looking for some apparent reason for what have you I wanted to work from home so I knew what I didn't want to do and I had friends that you know you run into those people you, you see them in the store and they uh, they approach you and they're into the next best network marketing or MLM deal and I, I knew I did not want to do network marketing I, I saw them come up to me time and time and time again and say hey Sean I'm into this next greatest latest huge deal and I'm going to be making a hundred thousand dollars this month why don't you jump on board and then they you know ride off in the sunset on their bicycle so uh, uh, I knew that MLM and network marketing and the way it was all set up that I, I could see I, I was in business I could see there was always a fat cat on top so knew it definitely couldn't be something like that so I listened to the message reluctantly but let me tell you really I guess I guess there was really three things that I really struggled with the most uh, um, the money part. Not that I didn't, I didn't have the money to spend on this. Uh, you know, we'd sold the business, and boy, the IRS really got us for capital gain taxes. We had to pay all that out. So, yeah, I did have a little bit of a bitter taste in my mouth about uh, taxes at the time that I received the phone call. But uh, I didn't want to come up with the money to get started with. In fact, I didn't want to send money off to a stranger. To tell you the truth, and also, I, I really struggled with the no product thing. Um, you know, when I approached my spouse about it, uh, she uh, she gave me this strange look. She said, "You're you're thinking about doing what?" And uh, she definitely didn't stand behind me at all. But but watching the opportunities uh, uh, video presentation, I could really see a light because the person that I was speaking to on the phone showed me the marketing side of it. So that was one of the biggest things. But the third thing that I really dealt with, and that was uh, uh, you know when you type in on Google and check out some stuff on the internet. Uh, gifting overall had some some people that were really bitter online. I don't know that's with anything. Even you know hugely successful companies have bitter people online. But um, it, you know you have to read that stuff. But the more I got to reading, the more I saw that uh, that person that was really down in gifting obviously was either lazy or didn't try at it or didn't have a great inviter. I could see right away it showed them exactly how to make it work and automate it. But also. I saw their joining link for their new network marketing or some MLM opportunity. So I threw 99% of all those out of the trash. So since I had just sold a corporate business, I still had a little a corporate attorney. So I took it to her and, and I let her look over it. And I said, uh, uh, you know, Carrie, here's what I'm looking at doing. And she looked and uh, she called me back and a few days later. And she said, Sean, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. But it's legal. You're fine. Just make sure the opportunity has you pass all your little IRS guidelines. So I uh, I called my inviter back and I said, uh, hey, here's some uh, some documents I need from you. And uh, of course, he supplied them immediately. They were right back in my email. And uh, I looked them over and sent them over to the corporate attorney. And she said, that's all you need to make this legal. So I was kind of sold on everything I'd done so far, but I was still really struggling with sending money to a stranger. Um, I had to chew on that for a few days. I honestly did. I'll, I'll be up front with you on that. It, uh, it, it took me for a loop, but I could tell gifting works if I did. So that, uh, that's it. But moving on, I did jump on board, and I haven't looked back since. Uh, let me tell you how my day goes, and it may be real similar to all these other testimonials pouring in. For one reason of, we're all trained very well that are very successful at uh, my day starts like this. I spend somewhere around $350 a week on leads. Now, let me get to that. I fire up an auto dialer on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of each and every week, and it drives people into me. I spend two to sometimes three and four hours in the afternoons on those three days a week calling some people back and inviting them to the website. That's it.
because we're not selling anything, so that's nice. You're not getting in people's business and trying to sell them something because people are sick of products left and right. So anyway, with that said, uh, I run the auto dialer Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and it always averages me. Now, some weeks I bomb out, some weeks I do great. But on average, through the year last year, and by the way, I'm coming up on two years of doing this now, uh, almost, I like just two or three months here, but uh, every single week, it averages three to $6,000. Now, you got to take that $350 that I spent on leads off of that. So, I guess since I come from business, you can consider that $350 is my overhead, if you will. So, I spend $350 bucks a week on leads and it always produces three to $6,000 back. Now, again, it took me almost, and this is just my personal story, it took me almost three weeks to get up and rolling. So, you know, I had a few hundred dollars in this in leads and stuff and uh, it eventually paid back and boy was I glad because I thought my wife was just going to absolutely kill me if this didn't work because I had just sent all this money off to a stranger. Now, I got a ton of training and stuff right back, and I got all my systems set up just like you will, but uh, boy, I was sure stressed about it at first, but um, it's a numbers game. Uh, you call so many, just so many respond, and uh, that's it. It's, it's just flat out a number game, so if you can get over... Uh, the the mental block of sending money off to a stranger. If you can do all your due diligence of uh, checking out the opportunity, making sure it works. Uh, uh, you know, if you can get over all that and come to realize that there is no product because people are sick of products. Products only produces cash in your hand, right? So gifting skips over the whole product failing junk that all the products usually do or you have to stock and sell or fill your refrigerator up or get auto ship junk. Boy, I see my friends coming and going from that stuff and uh, now I've kind of showed them the lot, I guess you can say. Get rid of the products because it's really all about the cash and um, one other perk to gifting of why I got involved in gifting. As I told you before, I had some, uh, uh, the IRS, I was, everybody's a little bitter about taxes. We all have to pay them, but uh, do your due diligence. Gifting has some tax benefits there, so just make sure you check out with your inviter and make sure that those forms are there that the IRS requires of you, and make sure that those are, are good with your inviter, that you're in a legal opportunity. They can supply those forms to you, then that covers your rear with the tax situation. So um, gifting works if you do. Uh, that's it. Thanks for your time. God bless. Take care.